This is Andy Schaefers at Acuity. Today I've got another video oriented at beginning NX CAM users. In this video I'll explain how to get your tool library up and running so that you can add tools to it and retrieve tools into your NX CAM setups. First, let's discuss the problem that many new users encounter. I'll double click on this tool that I have set up here in the file and go to the tool tab and here in the library area uh, I can type in a some name or number for a library reference and then I can choose the, the button to export tool to the library but the the problem that many users encounter is you get through maybe a couple more dialogues there and you click OK and then an error message appears that says you don't have right access to the library I want to explain why that occurs and it has to do with where the default tool library for NX is loaded. Rather than have me just tell you where that is, I think it's more instructive if you follow along. We're going to together figure out where that library is installed. So let's choose File, Help, Log File. Then scroll down and we are looking for the environment variables involved with NX Cam. So here we start to see them appear. It's UGII underbar cam. And then here's the library variables. And then finally, the one that we're really interested in. Now, I'm sorry that my NX cam is probably not loaded to the same location where yours is. I've got mine in C colon apps. Yours is probably loaded to C colon program files slash semen slash NX12 or whatever version you have. But the point is that the tool library exists inside all of those executable files. And it's also likely that your IT department has configured your account so that you don't have right access to any of that. That's why you're getting that error message. Now, rather than just uh, obtain at right access to that permanently, what we'd rather do is reconfigure your setup so that your tool library is elsewhere. This can potentially have an additional advantage if you have multiple NX CAM users in your company. We can put your tool library on a mapped drive on a server and then everyone can add tools and retrieve tools from the same library. I'll show you the quickest technique to get going with your own custom tool library. The first thing we need to do is copy some files from the default tool library at this location to our custom location. So I'll bring up a couple of directories here. This CAM custom directory on my C drive is where I want to put my tool library. This folder is showing the default location. Let me move this out of the way here. It's showing the default location as indicated here in our log file. So this is our current tool library. So I've, I'll take this entire directory and paste it into CAM custom. and I see all those folders are in here. The next thing I need to do though is tell NX that I have a new location for my tool library. Here's how to do that. I've copied this environment variable name to my clipboard. This Explorer view is pointed to the UGII directory in NX12 and it's a pretty big directory so I've browsed down and I'm after this specific file UGII underbar env dot dat. I'll double click on this file which brings it up in a text editor. Remember I'd put that environment variable on the clipboard so I can now paste it in and what I'm doing is overriding the default location of the tool library with the new custom location that I want. I'll put in an equal sign and then a quote 
And here I need to find the path to my new custom tool library. Sorry, that was the old one. Okay, here I am at cam custom slash tool. So I'll copy that to the clipboard, paste it, and this is very important that at the end you need to put another backslash. Then I'll save this file, and that's easy for me to do. But remember, this UGII directory where we're saving it to is part of the program files. So it's very likely that you're going to need to get IT support to do this one operation. But after you've done it once and rerouted the tool library, you won't need their help again. Okay, at this point, I'm going to pause the video because I need to close NX and restart it to cause this environment variable to be reread. I've closed and reopened my NX CAM file. Before I test the tool library, I'm going to look at the log file again. I should be able to see evidence of the change that I've just made. And it looks like I was successful. Here where the library tool directory is, instead of pointing back at apps nx12, it's pointed to cam custom slash tool. Now let's give it a test. First, I'll start with my mill, which does not have a holder on it. I have a description already keyed in. If you have a catalog number that would be used for ordering this tool, you'd put it here. Your library reference wants to be something that you use internally. There cannot be spaces, and the library reference must be unique. So you'll want to be careful, maybe have these listed somewhere in an Excel spreadsheet or something, so that you know you're not trying to duplicate numbers. I'll choose the nmil non-indexable as the class. And it tells me it was saved in the metric tool library. Now I'll add the barrel cutter to the library. This is going to be just a little more complex because this tool has both a holder and the tool definition. The holders have their own library. All right, it tells me it was exported to the metric library. And next, I will do the tool. I'd mentioned the, uh, the use of CAD files for the solid tools. Um, that's when you would use this checkbox. That's more of an advanced topic. We're not going to do that in this video. Okay, it's telling us that two, I'm sorry, a tool and a holder entry have been created. At this time, let's browse to that library. The custom library that we just created and find where those entries ended up and what they look like. I can see from my date stamps that uh, this just happened today. So let's look in the holder database.dat file. And in fact, here is the entry for that 2001-10 holder that I just input. And here is the data for those two cylinders that make that up. Okay, now let's go to the tool database.dat and look for the two tools that I had created. 
this is a larger uh, file, so I'm going to just search for the 1001, which was the first part of my library reference, and here's that 10 millimeter carbide, and you can see it's in the class of nmil non-indexable, which is correct, that's where I put it. And then here is the barrel mill, the 1001-12. As I scroll out to the end though, this very last column is a reference to the holder. So it's very important then when you put your tools in the library, if you want to bring them back with a holder, make sure the holder is in the library also. As we start scrolling through the direct or the uh, the file here, we see there's already a lot of tools that have been added to this default tool library. If you're making your own library from scratch, it's better to start with the default and then in a text editor like I'm doing now, delete the tools that you don't want in there. So make sure you keep all this class information just the data lines that represent the tools you're not interested in, remove them completely, and then add only the tools that you want. I had mentioned that this was the quickest way to get a tool library configured in NX Cam. There is a potential drawback to doing it this way, and I'd like to discuss that now. We're looking at that Cam custom directory with the tool directory we had copied in, it contains all the default information from NX Cam. It has three folders we need, English, Graphics, and Metric. Let's go over those quickly. In the English folder here, I've got the holder database we looked at, um, the tool database, and a couple of other databases. Uh, same thing in the metric. In fact, here you see the date stamps. We just worked on those. The third directory, Graphics, is if you want a more detailed tool, you can create it using NX CAD, and those CAD files would live here. Uh, again, that's an advanced topic we're not going to cover today. But what about these other directories, like the ASCII directory? This contains logic files and definition files for the parameters that would be used, say, if you're searching for a tool of a particular diameter or some other characteristic or if you have custom characteristics that you want to store in your library, you'd be working with these files. But if you're not going to customize the way the actual logic works, then there's no need to really have those in your custom tool uh, library folder here. And in fact, it, there's a potential for a problem where if you uh, add a maintenance release or a maintenance pack to NX Cam, well, it's going to update back in the, the main directory there, but it's not going to see your custom implementation and, and write over those files. So the next thing I'm going to show you then is a little more time-consuming way to configure your tool library, but will configure only the English metric and graphics directory. To start this process, I've brought back up my log file and the UGII underbar env dot dat file. The environment variables that I'm going to need are right here. So I'll copy them to the clipboard and let's get back to the text editor. I won't need this environment variable anymore, so I'll just paste over the top of it. So I'll remember here to put the equal sign in and recall that essentially what we're doing is providing environment variables for the English, graphics, and metric directories. So here I don't need genius. I'm going to delete that. But I do need the graphics. Just repeating myself, but I put the equal sign in, then the quote. I don't need the in class. But 
but I do need the metric. What I've done is increase my granularity one level. So I'm looking for the English graphics and metric folders that are in that tool library, I'm sorry, tool directory in my NX cam custom directory. Because of that, I can delete the ASCII folder. And I'm being careful here, I'm in that cam custom, not the default tool library that loads with NX cam. Uh, then I delete the genius. in the in class. I've saved my uh, UGII underbar env.dat file and once again it's time for me to pause the video while I close NXCAM and restart. I've brought the log file back up and it looks like we were successful. Here we see that only three areas are pointing to our CAM custom folder. The rest of the tool library, the logic functions, are still pointing back at the default location where NX12 is loaded. Let's give it one more test. I'll export this mill one more time. Again, is an end mill non indexable. And now let's try a retrieval. We see one tool in there, and that's our tool. Now you might be surprised that it doesn't come in with the name barrel, but when you retrieve a tool, the library reference becomes the tool name in NX. So you'll see that not only did it retrieve the tool, but it also retrieved the holder that we had saved. Okay, so that's two ways to configure your tool library in NXCAM. I hope this information was useful to you.